Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 14, verses 24 through 33. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 22, Jesus sent his disciples on ahead of him to cross the sea while he dismissed the multitudes and then went up on the mountain to pray alone. So we see in Matthew chapter 14, verses 22b through 23. The Bible teaches us in Matthew chapter 14, verses 24 through 33, that as the disciples of Jesus were crossing the sea, the wind became contrary, as stated in the New King James Version, and was tossing the boat about the waves. In the fourth watch of the night, as we see in Matthew chapter 14, verse 25, which would be early in the morning hours, most likely before daybreak, Jesus came to his disciples as he was walking on the sea. It should not have taken the disciples of Jesus all night to cross this sea, but the wind was against them, or contrary, as we see in Matthew chapter 14, verse 24, and in Matthew chapter 14, verse 30, the wind is described as being boisterous. The question could be asked if Jesus knew that his disciples were in trouble, then why did he not respond to their needs more quickly? The Bible teaches us that Jesus' disciples were in a troubling situation, but we have no information that they prayed or called out to God for help. We can be assured that the disciples of Jesus were not thinking of him in their time of need because when he arrived walking on the sea, as we see in Matthew chapter 14, verse 25, they were afraid and believed that they saw a ghost. The disciples of Jesus were obviously in disarray. But Jesus arrives and changes the scene. He tells them in Matthew chapter 14, verse 27, to be of good cheer. It is I, do not be afraid. Upon realizing that their Savior was with them, Peter asked Jesus by a show of faith if he could walk on the water to him. And Jesus replies with one word, come. As long as Peter kept his focus on Jesus, he was a living miracle. But when he saw the waves crashing around him, he became more focused on the waves and his focus changed from his savior to the worries and fears that surrounded him. And he began to sink. But as he began to sink in his fears, Peter knew that his Savior was near to him, and he cried out to him, Lord, save me. The reaction to the cry of Peter is recorded in Matthew chapter 14, verse 31. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? They got into the boat, and all the disciples worshipped Jesus. As we see in Matthew chapter 14, verses 32 and 33. This is a promise and example that our Savior Jesus is there with us, waiting for us to call out to him to save us. This example of the power of Jesus lets us know that sometimes we're allowed to fall farther than we would like before we come to the realization that we need to call out, to cry out to Jesus for help. The disciples of Jesus had to learn this lesson while Jesus was physically with them. So much more we need then to learn to realize and to understand that Jesus is with us always. As we see in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, and he is waiting for us to call out to him to save us. Dear Lord, when we get into trouble, we sometimes lose our focus on Jesus, that he is with us always and is ready to reach out his hand and save us from the troubles of this world. Please forgive us for losing focus on our Savior and thank you for always being ready to save us as we call out to you for help. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.